Good morning, Hawaii. Time now, 6.03. We continue our coverage of that deadly helicopter crash in Kailua where all three people on board were killed Monday this morning. The roads covered in debris are back open, and that investigation far from over. And KITV 4's Tom George joining us live now from Oneava Street with the very latest. Good morning, Tom. Yeah, good morning, Lindsay and Mleko. And being out here on Oneava, just seeing this area, it's kind of miraculous that this was not a lot worse, seeing how close this is to homes. I want to show you the roadway right here. This is one of the busiest areas as people head out to work and to school. But this is where that chopper came to a crash right here in the middle of the street. Now, uh, the past couple days, this area was full of debris, but it's now finally cleared out as that roadway is back opened, as you mentioned. But that wasn't the case just yesterday. I want to show you some video as they uh, investigated. These are some crews from the NTSB that are going to be investigating the crash. Yesterday, uh, they were going through some of the damage. They tell us they've actually, at this point, moved the chopper to a secure location so they can continue that investigation into the cause of this crash. Now, uh, as of right now, we don't have a cause, but they are telling us what are some of the things they're going to be looking into. They say they're going to be looking at the conditions, uh, the pilot, the mechanics, things like that. They're also going to be looking into the fact that this was a Robinson helicopter. That brand, of course, uh, has had some issues all around the country with other crashes that have happened. They're trying to see if there are any patterns or trends that may have also played into this. But this morning, we're also learning more about the three victims of that tragic crash. There were three people on board, a pilot and two passengers. Now, that pilot, we're told, actually just moved to Hawaii a few weeks ago. His name's Joseph Barrage. He's 28 years old from Albuquerque, New Mexico. A really sad story. Grew Grew up in uh, New Mexico, wanted to become a pilot, trained out there in New Mexico, and moving out here was really a dream of his. His girlfriend and his dog were expected to follow him out here fairly soon, um, but he was the pilot of that uh, tour chopper that crashed. Now, there were also two passengers on board as well. There was 28-year-old Ryan uh, McAuliffe. She is from Chicago. Uh, that was one of the two passengers on board. The other, we're told by Australian news outlets, uh, was a grandmother and great-grandmother who was visiting here in Hawaii from Australia. Her name's Jan Burgess, uh, but she was known to her friends and family as Jammy. So cer certainly just a really tragic situation, those three lives lost and back live out here. Actually, as you see the scene right here, you can see three flowers right here in honor of those three victims of the crash, the pilot and those two passengers who were on board. Again, as you mentioned, the area on Oneava is back open right now to traffic as people head out for their morning commutes. But as you mentioned, that investigation still going to take a long time. We're told by the NTSB right now in terms of a timetable, it could be at least five months before we might get a cause of that crash. For now, reporting live, Tom George, KITV Island News.